I have searched 318 penny boxes in an attempt to complete a Dansko Lincoln Penny album. After these two boxes today, I will have searched 800,000 pennies in my quest to fill up this book. Fingers crossed we get a little bit closer to doing just that. Hey everyone, it's Rob Finds Treasure. Welcome back to the channel. We have a two box penny hunt in our quest to complete the Dansko Lincoln Penny album. We have 210 of the 234 cents slotted that the book holds from just coin roll hunting. We also have 71 of the 115 cents that these Canadian small cent albums hold, and that's through 132 boxes worth of finds. Of course, you saw in the last video, we slotted a 1960 cent and we had a few upgrades. Let's see if we can get something for the Dansko Lincoln Penny album today, and hopefully these boxes will provide me a lot of wheat scent finds and maybe some varieties. You guys know the drill. We're gonna get right to it. We have two circulated scent boxes. I know they're circulated because I can see from the holes in the bottom, and they definitely look like they could be a little more copper, so hopefully we got some good copper finds in here as well. Let me go ahead and finish this up. All right, yeah, definitely looks like we do have some copper scents in here. That's always a good sign. I don't see any fancy end coins that are wheat scents, but you never know what's in the rolls until you get into them. All right, hopefully I'm back pretty soon, and I will be back if and whenever I find in the first box of this two-box hunt. We're on roll number two, and our first wheat scent of the hunt is going to be a last year wheat scent, a 1958 Denver. Nice way to kick us off. Same roll, and we have an earlier wheat scent, a 1935. We didn't get any wheat scents prior to 1940 last hunt, so to be in roll number two, and already have two and one is prior to 1940, we'll definitely take that. Could be a good box. Roll number three, wheat scent number three. Reverse facing, 1957 Denver. Roll number five, wheat scent number four. Another 57 Denver. Roll number eight will give us wheat scent number five, almost an end coin. It was a second from the back, and it's going to be a 1952 Denver. We're on roll number 25 now, which marks the midpoint of the box. Had been a while since we had a wheat scent, but we do have number six to share with you. So we're on pace for 12 in the box if it stays decent. Wheat scent number six is another 1935 Philadelphia. It's actually in pretty nice shape. Might be an upgrader. Either way, it's good seeing a second one from the 30s, even though they're the same year. 25 rolls left. Roll 27. We sent number seven. I think I see a 51 on there. It's pretty damaged, like it was caught in a house fire. I think it's a 1951 Denver. And it is 51D in terrible shape. Roll number 35 is going to give us our eighth wheat scent. It's a chewed up 1945. Philadelphia, first one from the 40s. Roll number 44 is gonna give us our ninth wheat scent. Barely noticed it because of the damage, but it definitely says one cent. Probably caught in a fire, hopefully we can get a date on it. I think it's a 1951 Denver actually. Let's take a quick peek. Yep, 1951 Denver. Our second from that year and our second ugly one from that year. Let's find some good ones. Roll number 47, we've made it to double digit wheat cents. It's another beat up one, but it's also our earliest one from the 40s, a 1942 Denver. And we'll take it, double digits are always nice, three rolls left. Well, that's gonna do it for box one of the two box hunt. Kind of a mixed bag here. We did get 10 wheat cents, although six are from the 50s, two from the 40s, and two 1935 Philadelphias. We won't need them, but it's good seeing ones from the 30s. As far as the side finds, pretty tough. No foreigns, no bright and shinies, no 69s, just three 1959s. Copper was also a little bit light, two pounds, six ounces. So not completely bad. It's almost halfway to five pounds. We'll need a good box there. Speaking of good box there, might as well get right after it. I already checked, it's circulated by the holes in the bottom. Let's see if we have any enders peeking out at us or see if we can continue on with 10 or more wheat scents in a box. All right. I don't see any obvious weed scents at a glance. So let's continue with the hunt. And of course, I'll bring you guys back when I have a find in box number two. First roll of the second box. 
first wheat scent of box two, 11th overall. And that's a 1941, so we could definitely scope that one to see if it has any of the DDOs on the date, on Liberty, and of course, the word trust. I do not see any of the DDOs. Still nice to see it though. 1941 Philadelphia for the board. Roll number 62 of the hunt. Wheat scent number 12. This one is a 1945 San Francisco. Roll number 76 of the hunt. Our 13th wheat scent of the hunt. A 1956 Denver. One hour later. It's been a little while, but we're on roll number 91 of the hunt now, and we finally made it to our 14th wheat scent near the back of the roll. Hoping it's old by the amount of wear. And it's older, but it's just another 1942, but this time minted in Philadelphia. We're on roll number 96, and we have our 15th wheat scent of the two box hunt. Unfortunately, it's only the fifth of box number two, and it was almost another ender, three away from the back of the roll. This one is just another 1957 Denver, and we found three of those so far. Roll number 97. Wheat scent number 16. Another 1941 Philly, so you know we're going to check it for the three different DDOs. A little promising on Liberty will confirm it with uh, Trust. And nope, don't see any doubling on Trust. Just a little bit of fat lettering there. Thought we might have had a DDO for a second. 1941 Philly for the board. Roll number 98. The box is starting to get hot. We have Wheat scent number 17. And it's going to be a 1950 Philadelphia. Well, that's going to wrap it up for the second box of this two-box hunt. This box started off really slow, as you guys saw. At least it heated up a little bit at the end to give us seven more for 17 on the board. Unfortunately, the majority of them are 1941 through 1958, as expected. And none of these are in great shape. The best find is going to be one of the 1935s. It's got really good uh, detail. Doesn't have a lot of wear. Could be an upgrade, or we'll double-check that. We did get a total of six 1959s, I think three in box one and three in box two, and we actually had a decent copper scent. It's not in the best shape, but it is a San Francisco minted 1970, so of course I don't see these too often. I'm going to hold on to it, and no, it's not the small date or the DDO. Copper stayed true to both boxes. A total of four pounds and 12 ounces in here, which means both boxes gave us exactly two pounds and six ounces each. We'll take it. It's not five pounds but it's not bad. Let me compare all the finds to the albums. No Canadians to compare, and we'll see if we have any upgrades. We know we don't have any additions, and I'll give you guys a look at the books and some final thoughts on the hunt in just a minute. All right, we have compared all of today's finds to both albums. Well, nothing to the Canadian small scent album, but unfortunately, the 1935 I had in here was pretty nice to begin with, so there's no need to take it out and replace it with one that looks exactly the same. So as expected, no upgrades, no additions yet again. We're hard stuck at 210 of the 234 cents through now 320 boxes searched. And for those keeping track, 800,000 cents have been hunted now. Also for the Canadian Small Scent album, we've hunted 134 boxes worth of finds and we're stuck at 71 of the 115 for these books. And for those wondering, a lot of the dates we still need are the modern ones past 2002 and the older ones earlier than 1964. Hopefully we find some more in our hunts throughout the year. I know we didn't add anything or upgrade anything, but we gotta hunt boxes if we're gonna ever fill any of the remaining spots. Maybe the next couple of hunts, we'll be able to do that. If you guys enjoyed this two box penny hunt, I sure would appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting and thanks for watching.